In this video, I'll demonstrate how to set up a mesh wireless LAN network and attach clients to both the mesh and the root access points. There are two scenarios we could go through to create a mesh network. Scenario 1 is installing a mesh network with a new venue and new APs. In this scenario, you would go through the following steps. You would create a venue and enable mesh and save the configuration. You would then install the new APs with their serial numbers. You would make sure that the APs are attached to the Ethernet backbone and power them on, then create a network SSID and advertise the SSID to the venue. The APs will automatically provision themselves with this configuration. After about 15 minutes or longer, remove the AP that you're going to use as the mesh AP from the Ethernet backbone and place it in a new remote location without an Ethernet backbone connected to it. Power on the mesh AP and let it provision itself and after about 15 minutes attach clients to it once it's operational. Scenario 2 would be configuring a mesh network with existing APs and an existing venue. In this example you would go through the following steps. You would edit the venue you desire to enable mesh on and save the configuration. This will reboot and reprovision the APs you want to use as mesh APs. Then you would remove the mesh AP from the Ethernet backbone and reposition it at some distance away from the root access point. You would power up the mesh AP and let it reprovision itself and after about 15 minutes you would connect new clients to it. In this example we're going to go through a hybrid approach where we already have a venue created that's not a mesh venue with one AP already attached and then attach it to a mesh venue and then add a second mesh AP. So from the dashboard you notice that I have two venues. If I expand the venues, I have a Wani Art Studio and a Wani Foundry. So I'm going to click on a Wani Art Studio. And you'll notice in the lower right hand corner that it says Mesh Network is turned on. So on that particular venue we have Mesh enabled. And if I go to the APs, I can view those APs through a list which is showing here. I can look at the floor plans by clicking on that and I can click on this mesh information and this will show me the, the APs. So if I click on this plus sign, here you'll see the root access point and then this is the mesh access point. And if I had multiple hops and other mesh APs, they would show up as well. So it gives the cascading network of the mesh topology here. So what I'm going to do is go back to the other venue on the Wani Foundry and I'm going to enable mesh on this. So in the lower right hand corner, I'm going to turn on mesh and I get a warning that says this option cannot be disabled if any APs use mesh. All right, I'll click on OK. It'll update the venue. And now you see that mesh is enabled on that venue. So I'm going to go ahead and click on add AP. It'll load my licenses to make sure I have enough licenses. Now I would select the venue, so in this case I'm going to select a Wani Foundry. If there are any groups, it will, I can select that, so I'm going to select Foundry. And the AP name, so here I'll give it a name and I'm going to call it the R600 Foundry Map. I could give a description and I'll call it Foundry Mesh. And now I would enter the serial number. If I wanted to add a tag, I could do that, so now I'll go ahead and create that access point. And it'll say creating the access point. And this is going to take a while. Now it says R600 Foundry Map. And if I stretch this out, you'll see that it says never contacted the cloud. So it's going to take a while for this AP to provision itself. So we're going to just pause this while it provisions itself. And after a while, you'll see that it's initializing the AP. So we're going to have to wait a little bit longer. And then after a little while, we'll see that it says operational and applying configuration. So we're going to have to wait a little bit longer for that. And after about 10 minutes, you'll see that the R600 Foundry map is now operational. It gives me the model number. And you'll notice here under the mesh roll, though, it's labeled as a root access point because right now it's still attached and I haven't positioned it remotely as a mesh yet. So if I click on that AP, I could go ahead and add a floor plan to it. I'll click on Edit, and I'll position that on the floor plan. We'll drag it over where that AP is, and then we'll go ahead and save that. And that'll update the AP. 
Now if I go back to my access points, and if I list my access points here under the mesh information, you notice that my R500 Art Office, which is on the venue Awani Art Studio, does have mesh enabled, so there is a mesh AP for that. But both of these access points are still root access points. So what I'm going to do now is to turn off the AP, disconnect it from the Ethernet, and position it remotely, and then reboot it. So now I'll go back to my list of APs. And you can see that the R600 Foundry says it is still a root access point. So it hasn't finished rebooting itself yet. So we'll go ahead and pause for a while. And after a short while, you'll see that the mesh roll has now changed from root access point to map AP. So if we go back to our mesh information, and I select the R10 Foundry, and I select the Awani Foundry venue, you'll see that it hasn't shown up yet. So we have to wait just a little bit longer for that AP to fully come up and configure itself as a mesh. And after about 10 minutes, you'll see that the R510 Foundry root access point has a mesh attached to it. So if I click on that plus, you'll see that this is my R600 Foundry mesh AP. And you'll notice that we have one client attached to it and that we have a hop count of one. So this means that it's the first mesh AP from that root access point. If I also go up under the R500 art office, you'll see that we have one mesh AP attached to that. It is also at a hop count of one. Now, for example, if we had an additional mesh AP that was attached to the R500 or to the R600, it would show up as a hop count of two, and we can go out several hops. So what we've just done is edited an existing venue and turned on mesh. Then we added a mesh AP and attached that AP to that venue and then verified that we have client connectivity.